Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the Chart Process module in Node.js. And today, we will look at how we can start a Chart Process that is detached uh, from the parent process. Okay, what do we mean by that? What I mean is the Chart Process could still be running while the parent process exit. Okay, so the parent process will not have to wait for the child process to finish it before it terminates its execution. Okay, so the way we've been doing things so far, the way we've been creating child processes with the spawn, exact, exact file, and the fork functions, uh, we've always been waiting for uh, the child process to exit before uh, the parent process exits. Uh, we've been listening to events on these child processes, we've been listening to data events on the streams of these child processes. So uh, there's been a need uh, to have the parent listen, to have the parent finish, to, I mean to have the child finish before the parent finishes, but uh, sometimes you don't have that need. Sometimes you may what the child, the child actually is a process that's going to be long running, that's going to take some time, and you don't want the parent process to be managing and waiting for that child process, okay? So, in that case, uh, what you may want to do is use the options that detach uh, uh, property, well, the detach property on the options object, uh, that's just an option you can provide. If you set it to true, uh, what the documentation tells us is that uh, it will allow us to tell Node, okay, uh, this child process that you're about to start, uh, make sure it is detached from the parent and the parent doesn't have to wait for it to finish uh, before execution finishes. Now, but there's some caveat to that and uh, we'll get into that real quick. <coughs> All right, okay, so what I have here is a C++ uh, binary that uh, we can run to start this child process with. Uh, this is that C++ program that we're going to run. Okay, it's just, uh, we're going to provide one argument. If that's not provided, it's going to be empty. And it goes, uh, it has a count here, which is a million, I believe. Billion? Yeah, billion. And uh, um, it, it has a for loop that will, that, will count, that will count up to that and increment a local variable by two. And, uh, you know, it will just print that to the console. Whatever that result is, print it to the console with the, uh, whatever the input is in front of it. All right, so let's run that and see what we get. Uh, that binary is out, actually long long run. Okay, let's give it something. Okay, we run that. It takes a couple of seconds. This is what we get, 2 billion. Okay, so well, let's do that again. Make sure we know what we're doing. Alright, so we get me in front and then the arrow that goes to 2 billion. Alright. Okay, so now uh, what we want to do is start this child process with this program. Okay, so if you run this uh, node program now, oops, detached, you run it, you can see the parent process is hanging for about as much time it took for us to run that C++ program. Okay, all right. No, but we're not getting anything back from the child. We're not uh, listening it for any data events, so that's why we're not getting any prints here. We're not getting anything logged to the console right here. All right, but uh, our task is to have the parent not listen or not wait for the child process to terminate before the parent can terminate. At this point, we can see that it is waiting because it's uh, hanging on the console. Now. The way to use, the way the way to do this right, the way to have the parent process not wait, is to first provide to Node that you want to start to start the child process detached. And that is by providing the option detached. Oops. Detach to true. Okay. All right, and the other thing that you need to provide 
is uh, uh, the standard I.O. which was in the previous video we talked about we need to make sure the streams uh, that uh, uh, that are on that child process are configured to not be associated with the parent process so you can't be using uh, pipe and you can't be using inherit okay because these uh, when you use these uh, the parent process could be listen could be listening for data events on these streams and the parent or the parent process is going to directly receive data uh, 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 through these streams okay so what you want to do one of the things you can do is for standard IO is say that you want to ignore okay all right now if you run this right now it's still not going to work okay you can see a parent process is still waiting the last thing you want to do is to make sure you no longer have references to that child by unreffing. Okay. Okay, now the parent process is going to exit right away. Now, who knows if that child process is doing what it's supposed to do? Okay, well, what we can do is provide files or something, you know, for that child process processes stream to be to be printing to the console. All right, so let's create some files here. We're gonna let out be equal to fs that uh, open. Okay. Oops. Let's get some strings. Let's put it into logs, and let's call it out. Out. Uh, behind it for detached at txt oops and then uh, we want to provide a pen as well okay now let's do the same thing for error okay and uh, change that here as well okay so I have a couple of files now I want to change the standard IO okay I want to ignore the input uh, the standard in <coughs> and then I just want to provide files here out and then error okay so the expectation here is that the parent process is going to exit right away but the child process is still going to do its own work so we're going to be sending these files in the, the logs uh, uh, directory so let's run this again and see what happens okay all right so as we said uh, the parent the, the parent process exited right away and you can look inside here you can see that uh, uh, the, your child process uh, kept running and uh, there are no errors so, so that's fine but in the output we got uh, our printout all right all right so this is how you can uh, ask node to pro to make sure that child to make sure your parent process doesn't wait for that child process the first thing you gotta do is to make sure you provide true for the detached uh, property on the options object and uh, for standard IO we want to make sure we provide some options where the parent process will not be well those streams do not depend on the parent process so the parent process does not depend on these uh, uh, on these streams okay so ignore uh, is one thing you might want to do and uh, files you know having those uh, those streams pipe their output directly to files um, you can't you, you can't be using ignore or pipe uh, on these child processes uh, because uh, what they do is they, they either pipe they either send their data directly to the parent or the parent could simply be listening to them and, and, and do something based on that and 
if the parent is listening to something that's not terminated the parent itself cannot terminate all right guys so this is uh, Dooley and this is how you can ask node to create a child process that will be detached for the parent process all right i'll see you next time bye